What's going on the guys, Krahu here and welcome to my first impressions video for PlayStation 4. Uh, today we will talk about exactly my first thoughts on the PlayStation 4, um, how I'm liking it, what I got disappointed by and what I got pleasantly surprised with as far as the console goes. So I cannot capture footage from the PS4 just yet because of the cough cough HDCP, but there are ways around it and I will get all the materials necessary this week in order for me to capture some footage from the PS4. Now, this video is short, this is only first impressions, I'm gonna give you my full PS4 review um, as I can record sometime this week. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy, and if you did, if you're new, if you're watching this just randomly, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and if you're a subscriber, be sure to click the like button, and if you own a PS4, be sure to tell me your uh, opinions. So I got my PlayStation 4, and you know that, that video where that kid gets a Nintendo 64 and he starts flipping out? That was literally me. I mean, it's, it's one thing to wait on a midnight release for a video game, it's another to wait for a console release. Uh, this is, <laughs> it was a, it was a, I was super happy. Just for the fact that it was, it was worth it. It was way, way more worth it than uh, waiting for a freaking video game. This is an entire system. So, how does it perform? The DualShock 4, fantastic controller. Um, again, like I said in my unboxing video, I was a bit worried that they would go in the direction of the Xbox, meaning that they would change too much. Uh, to make it look like more of the Xbox 360 controller or the Xbox One or whatever. But they didn't. I mean, it, the grips are fine. The analog sticks are spaced out at a right distance. So everything just is just beautiful. And I love the attention to detail. When you play Kills on Shadowfall, and I'm, well, I will release some gameplay from this uh, from that video game, when you're hurt, when you're like very low on health, the, the light in the back starts pulsating red. When you're at like half health, it turns yellow, and when you're good, it's green. So that's little attention to detail that I really like. Uh, the user interface is so good. It really is good. Uh, the new messaging system, it looks like you're sending text messages, which is pretty damn cool. Uh, it's really smooth and responsive. When I fire up Killzone, um, I can be playing Killzone okay, and then I can press the options button, you know, pause the game or whatever, press the PS button, and I can do something else. Like, let's say, go on the internet, or go, you know, read my messages at peace, or do something else. Go to the PS, PSN store. And then when I'm done, I just go back to Killzone, and boom. It's right there where I left off. It's really smooth, and I'm not the one to go for all those gimmicky stuff, like social networking that uh, PS, PS4 was promoting or whatever. That's not me. I just want my games to look good and play good. That's the bottom line. But if we're gonna get into the, you know, all the bits and pieces that PS4 has to offer, like the social integration and whatever, I mean, it's good, it's good for multitasking. I didn't have a problem with it. Like I said, uh, the thing that I got most pleasantly surprised with is just how smooth the interface is. It's very smooth. <laughs> so you would think that when you're playing a game like Killzone, which is graphically a masterpiece, I would say, um, it would freeze up a little bit, but it did it maybe like once or twice in the very beginning when I was playing, when I first fired up my console and I fired up Killzone, and I wanted to test all the um, like multitasking stuff. So it did freeze up on me a little bit, but then like the next day, I, it was smooth as hell. There was no problems. So maybe the console needed some time. Uh, the user interface is simple. I mean, I don't like complicated stuff, so the user interface is simple. Uh, people that I don't know, that this is going to be their first experience with a Sony console or whatever, will find their way around. Very simple, very good. Um, I'm sure they're going to update it and, and all that stuff. Uh, the games play beautifully. I have uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, I have Kills on Shadowfall, and Kills on Shadowfall, again, that game is just a, a visual masterpiece. I'm going to give you my full review of Kills on Shadowfall again when my freaking... Um, <coughs> stuff gets here. As far as the disappointment, the piano black finish on the console. <laughs> it already somehow managed to pick up dust from all across the room, fingerprints from the entire population of the world. I'm not a fan of piano black finish. <coughs> also on the controller, the D-pad and the buttons, they have a piano black finish too. Like the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, 
like the the place where they where the buttons are placed they have a piano black finish in the back i don't like that it's that's why i even kept the foil on the freaking d-pad and the and the buttons because i just don't like that so piano black finish is a no-go for me but everything else as far as gaming and user interface pleasantly pleasantly surprised with controller holds a good charge i could play for a very long time without charging it so um this was this were my first impressions hopefully you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like and wait for the full review of the console when i get myself this was Krahu. be sure to leave a like see you guys next time